Hi everyone, I haven't done one of these videos in a long time, but I'm super excited to do another one since it's been so long. I am doing another Wee haul. For those of you who are not familiar with Wee, Wee is basically a grocery delivery service that focuses on Asian and some Hispanic groceries. And I've been a customer with Wee for a very long time now. And I've tried in different cities, Seattle in the past, and now in Chicago. And I've been using it pretty regularly. Here, I'm making another one this year. This is March 2023. In case you're wondering, just for your context, I live in Chicago. I think we have a really good amount of selection on the app in Chicago area. And ready to dive in. Okay, so I have three total containers. The first one is in this temperature control bag. And I'll show you what I have. So first I have a container of dumplings. These are the pork and mushroom dumplings. And it's my first time trying them. I don't know if they're good, but the packaging looks really good, so here I am. I always have frozen dumplings in my freezer just for like quick work from home lunch or like easy dinner. If you've made dumplings yourself before, you know that making dumplings isn't hard, it's just time consuming. And sometimes I just want something quick. And so the frozen dumplings are great for that. And then next I have these uh, beef ribeye slice, thinly sliced uh, beef. So basically, I use this almost exclusively for soup noodles or if I'm making like a quick one person hot pot, I will throw them in just so I have some protein. And these are very handy. I don't always get these from Wee. Uh, it's not always available if I'm being honest. A lot of times I would go to H Mart for it. I haven't been to H Mart in a second, so I've been getting these and they are very convenient. And then last but not least from this bag, I have a pack of udon noodle. I have probably bought different brands now. I just kind of buy whatever is available in the app that I don't have to pay special for. Kind of like the beef slides and dumplings. Frozen udon noodles is always good to have handy in your freezer. It's very easy. You open it, you throw it in soup, and then you add toppings to it, add soup base, whatever you want, and you have a meal. So I love having these. These are also really good for stir frying. Uh, I like stir frying them with like veggies and some proteins. I can add these in it and then um, add a dressing and like stir fry it. It will be yummy no matter how you do it. Okay, next up I have uh, spring onions. Very essential for Asian cooking. And then I have two packages of mushrooms. I forgot what these are called, but I get these a lot. I like them in both soup and stir fries. Very easy to work with. And I am kind of a mushroom freak, even though I am watching The Last of Us, I was still liking mushroom. Here is another uh, container of trumpet mushroom. And then I got a thing of these like Shanghai bok choy, I think if they're named correctly. I'm kind of bad with veggies names, but those are good. And I have another container here within this box. And let's see what it is. And here I have a container of firm tofu. Um, again, if you are in an Asian household, you probably have these items a lot, but I like having tofu on hand just because they last in the refrigerator for a bit and they are just good alternative to chicken. I'm not vegetarian or anything, but uh, I like tofu and I eat tofu pretty regularly. Okay, next up, I have one of my favorite chips from growing up in Hong Kong. This is the potato chip that's hot and spicy from Kalbi. It is not that spicy. If anything, it's actually a little bit sweet and then it's spicy. So it's a very addicting flavor in my opinion. And I usually get a big bag whenever I see them. Okay, next, this is something new for me. I've had Milkis in the past. Milkis are a Korean like cream soda type of situation and they're really good but I've never had melon flavor. I've had Milkis a lot growing up but usually the original flavor. So, so the melon flavor, you know what? I'm just gonna crack one open and try it because I am very curious. So this is what it looks like. Very small can but they're usually really good. So I'm excited to try the melon one. Oh wow. I like it a lot. The melon flavor is just, it's not too artificial, which is good. So sometimes melon flavor can just kind of taste like nothing. But this is really good. I'm gonna go through this really quickly. Next, I got a container of the Singapore Laksa. 
um, they're noodles and they're in this soup that is really yummy. It's a Singaporean, very creamy, a little bit of spice kind of soup, laksa. I tried this for the first time earlier this year in January when I was in Hong Kong visiting family. This was one of those like quick lunch situations I had when I was there and these are so good. In my opinion, they're a little overpriced, but they're good and I'm willing to splurge. I highly recommend them. And then another noodle situation, it's Indomie. And these ones are a lot more affordable. It comes with a pack of, I think, five here or four? Five. There's, there's a pack of five here. These are very small container, but don't make a mistake. These are not soup noodle. It comes with like uh, seasoning and like sauce packs. You're supposed to um, cook your noodle and then drain it and then add the sauce and seasoning and then mix it really well. It's kind of like a drier, saucy noodle in a way and they're really good. And that is the wrap. It's probably not a ton of stuff for groceries. I do live alone, but honestly, sometimes I think about how I have to carry all these if I were to buy it from H Mart or an Asian grocery store just to be on the train or even Uber back home. Uh, that money that I would spend on Uber or Buzz, it's pretty easy to just spend it on delivery. So I've been using Wee for a long time and I find it really convenient. I have a referral link in the description below in case you're interested. I'm not sponsor or anything. I just love doing these hauls and I think they're really fun. And now you got a sense of what kind of items you can get on this app called Wee. Let me know, feel free to comment down below if you have any questions. Uh, again, I am based in Chicago and this is my experience in Chicago only. I know we have different services in other cities and it really ranges depending on what local Asian grocery stores you have. Thanks for watching this video and I'll see you in my next one. Bye!